What detox? What is the detox sensor? And how do I clean it? Who else finds it super annoying when you get a malfunction and all the instructions tell you is that there's a malfunction? That's really great. Thanks, guys. Hey, well, if you've got this malfunction, then I'm going to show you the easy way how to fix it. Hopefully, it's this, and hopefully, it helps. You just need to give it a bit of a clean. So, what you need to do is open it up, take out the accessories, turn it off, and the detox sensor lives under this little cap here. So, you need to take these two bungs out, and underneath, there's two Phillips screws which you need to undo, followed by another two Phillips screws underneath the front cover which I'll show you how to undo in a second. Now to get this front cover panel off you need to put your fingers under here and gently pry upwards. It takes a little bit of force so pull on it and it'll pop a couple of clips out and then you can work your way around to the other side you can see those clips there that just wrenches up out of the way don't go overboard you don't want to snap it but a little bit of force is required to pull it up now there's the two Phillips screws underneath here and that's the four screws that hold on the detoff cap but as you can see it doesn't quite come out annoyingly you need to undo the flap so there's another eight screws, Phillips screws to undo to get the flap out. I'm undoing four now. There's a little um, black plastic cover that comes off and then underneath there's a little spring mechanism. There it is. So you just need to make sure that that goes back in the same orientation when you put it back together. Now undo the other side. There's the same spring mechanism underneath. Once these screws are undone, you can lift the cover flap out of the way and the detox sensor cover can come up and out of the way so that you can clean it. And the flap just lifts up like that and out of the way. Place it to the side, pull your cap off and now I'm going to clean on the inside and on the outside because see this thing it spins it should spin freely and it's got a little uh, lidar sensor or something in there but it's got to be able to see out so if there's any dust or anything on the inside of this then it won't work properly and it will give an error i had a little bit of dust in there so hopefully that's all it needed to be cleaned you can have a look into the sensor and see if that looks clean and you can see now that's the sensor there and those two little eyes if those windows look clean then that's all good it's usually just that outer casing it gets a bit of dust and grime in there now I'm pointing to three springs make sure they are in this location before you put the cap back on and the cap should bounce up and down like so if it doesn't then it might jam up and that could also be a cause of the problem so make sure those three springs are in there now do up your screws again. Once all four are done up, then you can put the flat cover back in. Once the screws are done up, you can put the rubber bungs back in, or the plugs, and then you're ready to put this top cover back in. Now remember I said about the springs, you need to make sure they're aligned back into the slot correctly before you push them down. You can see there a bit of a close-up if you need to go back to the start of the video and just pause you can see how that spring is supposed to sit and then once that's in place you can put the top cover back in and do up the four screws repeat on the other side as well
Now that your screws are done up, you can put this top plate back into place and push down to clip the plastic clips back in. Work your way around, and there it is, back together. Now we need to open the flat, turn it on, wait for it to start up. You can put your dustbin back in while you're waiting. You can hear the sound, and then I'm giving it to clean while it starts up. You can push the button and test to see if the DTOF sensor malfunction has gone away. Let's see, fingers crossed. Yes, it's working. Success. Now I hope you have the same success as I did. If you find this video helpful, I'd really appreciate a like or even a subscribe would be even better. But yeah, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more helpful videos.